welcome to counters in this lesson we'll be looking at accrued income what is accrued income accrued income is income that you have earned but have not received it yet so it's just the opposite of accrued expense where you have incurred the expense but have not paid it yet so here we look at a quick example of accrued income and how we record them in our journal entries until it's eventually uh, paid and how we uh, account for that in our journal entries now in the links in the description below uh, you'll find uh, uh, general entry examples and explanation of, of, of accrued expense prepaid expense and we're also going to look at uh, income paid in advance but in this lesson let's look at accrued income so here's a quick example you rendered a service to ABC for 5,000 Rand on credit on the 5th of October 2018 now we have to record this because the, uh, the, 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 the accrual rule of accounting is that we record uh, transactions as they take place, not necessarily as, uh, as cash changes hands. So how do we start with this? So you render a service, 5,000 rand on credit uh, to ABC. So we record it on that specific day. What will, we, what will we debit? What will be our debit? Our debit will be accounts receivable or, or trade receivable because uh, it's because he's become ABC is our debtor now. He has not paid us yet, but we have rendered to him a service. So let's call this accounts receivable, and that's how you record it. Accounts, uh, okay, I'll write that in short. And then 5,000 rand, obviously. Uh, 5,000. And then we have uh, the credit side. What will be on our credit side? So if we have recorded accounts receivable as our debit, uh, what are we recording it for? It's for revenue or services rendered. So we'll put the uh, service rendered or revenue. So we've just recorded our income as we have uh, as we have uh, end earned it, even though we have not received it yet. And then we put five thousand rand here. So that's how you record your accrued income whenever you uh, you have you whenever you have it in your transactions. But what happens when they have settled the account? Here is how we record it. ABC settled the account on the 18th of October 2018. How do we do it in our general entry? Well, what do we do with our debit side? Well, our debit side we know that if they have settled the account, we are receiving cash. So we'll record either cash or bank. There, and we we'll put 5,000 rand. And what will be our credit side? Well, we had account we had recorded it in our accounts receivable, so we have to remove it from uh, we have to remove ABC from our data. So we will credit accounts receivable. That means uh, it, they cancel each other a debit and a credit. That means it's no longer our data because you settled this account. And that's how you record accrued income, and that, that's how you handle it in your general entries. I hope that helps. Till next time, cheers.